Okay. Glad, uh, especially now that I've been talking about studio strobes and lighting a lot, which most of photography is lighting. It's not cameras and lenses, okay? And SD cards. It's lighting. I've been asked uh, questions about light meters. And um, I actually got on a roll in making videos about light meters because uh, the uh, top, and by top I mean most popular YouTube, uh, he's not a photographer. The most uh, top person who makes videos on uh, photography on YouTube said one of the most stupid things I've ever heard anybody say. He, he said that uh, light meters were a throwback technology and that uh, he actually gets, quote, angry when he sees someone. The implication was like a light meter is like some sort of old fart tool. They're like people have been in the photography too long they're still using you know I made a laundry list of the bazillion things a light meter uh, can do and only a light meter that your damn camera can do you know this is an incident light meter right now I actually have the five degree reflectance module attached to it and I was gonna make a recommendation on the best light meter to buy for the money because nobody needs to buy you know the super expensive Lamborghini deluxe model Seconic 758, which is 640 bucks right now, I believe. Um, that comment actually pissed me off so much that, uh, you know, sometimes, have you ever heard something said that was just so flat out stupid that you just, you know, you shook your head, it's like, did I hear something said that that was, that was that damn stupid? I mean, did I really hear that? Oh, yeah, you know, I listened to it again. Oh, yeah, I did hear that. Um, so that one was an amazing one to me. Should have been, it was an amazing one to anybody else, too. See, light mirror people, oh, this is an additional tool. It's going to slide. No, you cannot have a studio strobe. Uh, well, you can, but you're an idiot if you do. Let's say if you're at a corporate shoot and it's like, yeah, hey, you got 30 minutes to take this picture. And I don't care if you're like one of the best photographers in the world. You got a couple speed lights set up or a single studio strobe and a reflector, and you take a picture and you chimp off the back of your camera. It's like, well, okay, I'm going to dial in my studio strobe a little bit. You're going to take a picture and chimp. You're going to look like a friggin dumbass and you they are going to look at you like you're a dumbass okay or I could turn on my light meter and since it's calibrated my camera I got my studio strobes on I have a wireless transmitter in here I go up to the person and go click boom dial on my camera take the picture <laughs> you know I got it hit this is for saving time and nailing it right you kind of know how like sniper scope uh, sniper rifles have a scope on them it's kind of like you know you could shoot that person a thousand yards away uh, using the iron sights that come with a rifle or we could stick this fine precision piece of optics on top and we could calibrate it and then you could stick uh, the target in the crosshairs and lights out you know that's what a light meter is you know what a light meter can do your camera cannot do your camera does not take incident light meter readings okay it can't calculate lighting ratios percentages there's a thousand things a light meter can do that your camera I don't care what damn camera you got cannot do you know it's kinda like saying well uh, you know you got a professional ditch digger and it's like well I'm gonna dig it with a shovel it's like well isn't that well inspired you're special um, you know how about you use that bulldozer over there and uh, get it done like that you know, so that statement pissed me off, and it didn't piss me off personally. It pissed me off because it's like, wow, that's one of the dumbest damn things I've ever. And you know, the, the, you know, this person, you know, has got like a bazillion followers, and he's talking about photography. It's like, are you kidding me, idiot, idiot? We all make mistakes, though. Okay, we all make mistakes, but to make a mistake like that, ooh, you you ain't too bright. You ain't, ain't too bright. Um, anyway, this is a recommendation of light meters. Now, this is a Minolta 4. Look, at I have been using this light meter since photography school. This is not my opinion. Here's a hardcore fact. Minolta, when it came to cameras, um, they made crap. Their cameras and their lenses, they sucked. I mean, Minolta deserved to be destroyed, but their light meters were really, really good. They just were, and most professionals agree on that fact. This light meter is still working over 20 some years later. You know? Right now I have the spot, um, it gives me, I can look through here and take a 5 degree or a 10 degree, depending on which attachment I have, a spot uh, reflectance reading, and I take it off, and this is how the light meter comes. It comes with a, 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 a incident dome, which uh, lets me uh, measure uh, incident light. This is how the unit comes. You can grab these for about 100 bucks, used like new all day long on eBay. This is the one to get, runs off one AA battery. You know, you do not need the super deluxe, uber professional. Uh, this is like, 
uh, photographic pornography to anybody that with a studio strobe or and, uh, that does lighting because this has got a lot more stuff and it does a lot more stuff and calculates ratios and whatnot but all you really need is one of these this will do uh, uh, flash photography you could set it uh, to uh, trigger once it sees a pulse of flashlight so it'll do uh, you know the fundamental things of the Zirconic 758 you know this is six hundred and thirty dollars this is a hundred bucks with this, you're not going to get a warranty. Uh, they make this exact same meter now, except it's marked under the name Kenco. This meter was so well made and so simply designed. Like, the owner's manual on this thing is just like nothing. Um, is, is it another tool to learn? It is, but by learning this tool, this will speed up your stroboscopic and your speed light photography like that, especially for portraiture commercial photography, tabletop photography. It just takes all the guesswork out. It gets your exposure right. Okay? You're not you're not sitting there looking like a douchebag, you know, chimping off the back of your camera's like, well, you know, let me see. No. No, 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 no. These tools are necessities of professional work. And, you know, I kind of wonder why. And this ought to be a hint. You know, I, as a hardcore uh, Greek Platonist, uh, I'm always uh, one that uh, pays attention not as much to what people say as what they don't say. And when someone talks about professional photography end on end, you know, year after year, and they never mention a light meter, I'm thinking to myself, this person's an idiot, you know. Any professional photography branch thereof deals with strobes and or at the very least speed lights. And these people never talk about a light meter and how incredibly useful and insanely important they are and the fact that they do a hundred really important things that your damn camera can't do. Then I'm thinking, these people don't know that much about photography. They don't. They can't. You know? It's just like me listening to some guys like, I'm a professional ditch digger. Oh, yeah? Okay, what do you use? I got my uh, shovel over here. Well, isn't that spool? I can still dig a ditch. It's like... No, that guy over there with the uh, the bulldozer, he's, uh, I'll trust him more than you with your shovel. He'll get the job done quicker, faster, better than you will with your shovel. So A lot of people ignorantly think, well, this is just an extra tool. You know, you don't need that. You got your histogram on your camera. No, no, you, you don't get it. You can't calculate lighting ratios. You can't calculate percentages between key light, fill light, main light. You're, there's a lot of stuff cannot do with your damn camera. Your camera is not an incident light meter reader. It doesn't do that. It works off of reflectance. No, no, this has got both. It's got also it's got a one degree spot meter. I can do a measurements at one degree on like the specularity between someone's face and the diffuse or the midtones and the shadows. I could just sit back, oh, boom, 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 calculate what the average is, calculate the percent. I mean it's really fast, really, really easy. And this is this is to save time, and this keeps you from pissing time away at night in Lightroom, screwing around with your pictures. If you if you got it dialed in like 99% on the first photograph, you know time is money. This thing pays for itself immediately. I'm not saying that you have to have the real expensive one like this because that's not what I'm saying. Anyway, the Minolta 4F, that's I V F. F stands for flash meter. The Minolta 4F is the best value and the one I recommend getting, and it's like a hundred bucks off of eBay. There are other valid choices, but not choices as good as that uh, for value for the money. And uh, if anybody else out there says that a light meter is throwback technology, you know, God, man, what a stupid statement. What a really, really stupid statement. Man, I mean, when someone says something like that, you go, you know nothing. A statement like that reminds me of another dude. He looks like a deranged version of Santa Claus. And this guy, I kid you not, he's being totally serious. He takes the lens off his camera, and he talks about cleaning the sensor in his camera, and he blows in there with his nasty, foul, sticky, acidic, gross breath. <sighs> and he sticks his finger in there with a little towel and that's how he cleans the sensor and he'll argue with you even the people of digital rev have made fun of this guy he just looks like a deranged version of santa claus and it's like wow man you uh you're uh, you're not playing with a full deck you know your 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 elevator doesn't go to the top floor there you know which is okay but don't tell other people stupid stuff like that 
don't do it. You know? You might want to check with the rest of the world that knows something. It's like, gee, nobody else agrees with me. You know, and I'm not a person that believes in truth by consensus. But some things, you know, he's like, yeah, the people that know what they're doing, they don't agree with you, not even 1%. They don't agree with you. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.